Good morning, everyone. Today's topic is air pressure. So to demonstrate air pressure, there are many different possible experiments you can do. Everybody knows this air, but you can't see it, you can't feel it, you can't smell it, so how do you know it's real? So a very simple way of knowing that it's real is to take a large bucket of water and a small plastic cup. The cup is perfectly dry, no water in there. Here is a paper towel that is completely dry. I then fold the paper towel and I place it into the plastic container and I take it and turn it upside down under water. You leave it under water, you then pull it out and when you reach in and pull the paper towel out, it is still completely dry. And now you wonder to yourself, self, why didn't the water get in? And the answer is because there was something in the container that kept the water from coming in. And that something is air. That is the first way we can prove that air is real and it exists. Now we come to a second demonstration, a little bit more dramatic. Here we have a small container of water and a candle. The candle is resting on a piece of clay so that it will not tip over. Now I am going to, oops, now I am going to light the candle. Make sure that the wick is burning. And now, we are going to see what happens when I put this flask over the burning candle. Everybody knows that fire requires oxygen, so let's watch what happens. As the fire uses up oxygen, part of the pressure is decreased, and the stronger pressure on the outside pushes the water into the flask. Why isn't the water level going all the way up to the top? Because the fire only used part of the air up. It only used oxygen, which is approximately 20% of the air. So we have 20% of the flask filled up with water. For our next demonstration, we're going to use a baby food jar filled to the top with water. And we're going to cut a piece of cardboard that is approximately the size of the top of the jar. You don't want it too big, I'll explain to you why in a minute. You put the cardboard over the top of the jar and with one finger you hold it in place. Now you turn it upside down, say a little prayer, and take your finger away and lo and behold it doesn't fall. Why not? The reason is the air is pressing upwards and it's not allowing the water to come out. You can actually push down pretty hard and it will not come out. Eventually air bubbles will seep in and it will fall once the air starts to get in there. But when it happens, nobody knows. Okay, for our last little demonstration, we need a balloon and a flask. So here we have a regular nine inch balloon, which I will blow up, showing you that it's not very difficult to blow up a balloon, unless the air is fighting you. What you do is you take the balloon and you stick it into the flask. You take the edges of the balloon and you wrap it around the top of the flask. Now that you've got the balloon inside the flask and the outside of the balloon is right at the top, you can ask anybody to try and blow up the balloon like this. But you will find that it is impossible because in this case, you have the air fighting you. The air in the flask will not 
allow it to be compressed too much. So as you blow air inside of here, the air in the flask has pressure and it's pushing on the balloon this way. So you can try and blow up the balloon as much as you want. The balloon refuses to enlarge. The reason is because of the air inside the flask, which is not allowing you to expand the balloon. The air is pushing on the balloon and not allowing it to get bigger. Four demonstrations of how air behaves and reacts in different ways. Bye.